A big traffic heads up for you this morning. Part of a busy street in downtown Albuquerque is now closed. It led between Broadway and 2nd. Basically, the railroad bridge is now closed off. It's supposed to stay that way until Tuesday night. This is a look at all those barrels that are out there now. This is because the new movie, Two Guns, starring Denzel Washington and Mark Wahlberg, is going to be filming there for the next few days. And one more traffic heads up for you this morning. This is at Montano and 2nd Street in Albuquerque. A water main broke there yesterday morning, had the intersection closed down for a while. I just saw on Twitter some people are saying it is still closed. Just a heads up, crews are going to be back out there later today cleaning up all this mess. Republican presidential candidate Mitt Romney is back on the road today after making a stop in New Mexico. About 300 people were at the Watson Truck and Supply Company in Hobbs yesterday morning to hear Romney speak. Three million jobs come back to this country by taking advantage of something we have right underneath our feet. That's oil and gas and coal. We're going to make it happen. We're going to create those jobs. Mr. Romney announced for the first time that he wants to boost oil production on federal land by letting states oversee the drilling. He also said he wants to build another oil pipeline from Canada to the U.S. that's bigger, that runs all the way down to the Gulf of Mexico. Critics say his plan is a recipe for an environmental disaster, though, and that you can't just drill your way to lower prices, they say. A poll released this week by Rasmussen Reports shows that Romney still has his work cut out for him, at least here in New Mexico. The poll shows President Obama is up by 14 points over Romney in New Mexico, 52 to 38. And another poll by Rasmussen shows a big lead in New Mexico's U.S. Senate race. It shows Democratic Martin Heinrich is stretching his lead over Heather Wilson to seven points. He's up 48-41 with a plus or minus error of margin of four and a half. The people who want to raise Albuquerque's minimum wage now have enough signatures to send that issue to you, the voter. So the city council now has two weeks to take a look at this the idea of raising the minimum wage by a dollar to eight fifty an hour. If the council does not approve it, it automatically goes to voters, possibly in November. I don't feel that this is a, a, a Republican Democrat issue. What it is is that uh, seven fifty is not a living wage for nobody. But not everyone wants the minimum wage to go up. The Chamber of Commerce says it would force some businesses to close and others to actually cut jobs. And Albuquerque City Council also has two weeks to decide whether to approve the $50 million needed to help redo the interchange here at Paseo del Norte and I-25. But voters will probably ultimately get to decide this issue as well again, possibly in November. This is because three city councilors say they think you should decide on the project, not them. Dozens of people show up to the first of many public meetings on redeveloping the old rail yards. The city bought the long abandoned property for $8 million back in 2007. Since then, a developer has been selected to move the project forward. The city is asking the public for their ideas. Mayor R.J. Berry said he would like to see the area developed into a business and residential area. He has proposed spending up to 800 grand. To turn the old blacksmith building into an indoor outdoor space for community events like car shows and a growers market. A mixed martial arts fighter from Albuquerque accused of badly beating his girlfriend is still on the run this morning. Police say he beat her so badly she had a concussion and a miscarriage. U.S. Marshals have taken over the hunt for Willie Slick Parks. He's a fighter on the left there. He was supposed to turn himself in yesterday morning, but never did. Police say last month he slammed his girlfriend's face into her steering wheel while the two were arguing. Parks fights and works for Jackson's in Albuquerque. It's an internationally known MMA gym. And investigators in Taos now have a homicide case on their hands after a body was found here at the Holy Cross convent that someone set on fire earlier this month. After that, investigators got a tip that they would find a body inside, and earlier this week they did. They found a man dead in the basement. They're still trying to find out who he is. Albuquerque's police chief is pushing for more restrictions on any New Mexico police officer who is charged with a felony. Chief Ray Schultz is a member of the state board that certifies law enforcement officers. He will ask the board next week to approve a policy change that would immediately suspend the certification of any officer arrested or indicted on a felony pending the outcome of the charges. However, the Albuquerque Police Union not liking the idea. Should the charges be dropped? Uh, immediately or they be found not guilty, uh, their right to due process should be intact until that time. And the union says it will oppose it when the chief introduces the measure at a board meeting next Thursday.